Happy Tuesday morning, my friends. Happy Tuesday morning. Welcome to our morning mana short devotional. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe and click the join button if you want to become a member. And there are certain perks that you can enjoy once you're a member. Well, today's devotional is entitled, Find Rest in Jesus. Find Rest in Jesus. Do you struggle to get enough rest? While we may not always have a good night's sleep, we know rest is vital to our health and well-being. But did you know rest is important to your spiritual health as well? The Bible talks a great deal about our need for rest, especially in the book of Psalms. God created rest for our benefit to restore us. We can experience true rest when we spend time in God's presence, praying or reflecting on His Word. As we take time from our busy schedule, we can be still, silent, present, and allow Him to work in us. In the book of Psalms, we discover what resting in God truly means. The psalmist shows us steps we can take to find the type of rest that restores our soul. And number one is we can call on God during his sleepless nights. As Psalms chapter 4 says, and I read, Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness, thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O oh, ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah, but know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear me, I call unto him. He stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. And be still, Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will shew us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. And secondly, we can trust God with our future. As Psalms chapter 16 verses 1 and 2 and verses up to 11 says, and I read, Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, thou art my Lord. My goodness extendeth not in thee. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt shew me the path of life. In thy presence is full of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. And thirdly is allow him to lead you. As Psalms chapter 23 says, and I read, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And step four, give all your worries to him. 
give all your worries to the Lord. As Psalms chapter 27 says, and I read, except the Lord build the house, thy labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman walketh, but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are inheritance of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with enemies in the gate. And in step five, quiet thy soul before God. Psalms 131 says, and I read, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty. Neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is wind of his mother. My soul is even as a wind child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Well, thank you so much for watching or even listening to this short devotional. I hope this message bless your heart as you proceed to your work today. See you again tomorrow. Shall we pray? Father, thank you so much for this time. Thank you so much, Lord, for this devotion. And I pray that you may bless everyone that will watch and hear this message. I love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye and God bless.